Vitamin E is crucial for skin health. It can be given in two main ways, orally and topically. Both forms have unique benefits and used for different purposes. In today's video, we will look and compare oral and topical vitamin E and their effects and some detrimental effects of too much vitamin E. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Maria Zizian, a board-certified general surgeon and IFM-certified functional medicine physician. Please like, subscribe, and share to help this channel grow. Let's start with oral vitamin E. First, oral vitamin E helps reduce oxidative stress throughout the body. To translate that into a normal language, it means that it helps to prevent or delay premature aging skin discoloration, and other signs of skin damage. Oral vitamin E, as you may know, is a great moisturizer. It helps with elasticity from within, supporting a healthier skin barrier. Over time, it may contribute to improved skin texture and hydration. It also has a whole body effect. Since it works systematically, oral vitamin E affects other systems in the body, such as immune function, cardiovascular health, and inflammation. The common food sources of vitamin E include nuts and seeds, such as almonds, hazelnuts, sunflower seeds, pine nuts, peanuts. Then we have vegetable oils, such as wheat germ oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, olive oil, corn oil, and of course, then leafy green vegetables, such as spinach, Swiss chard, kale, broccoli. Also fruits, such as avocados, mangoes, kiwis, blackberries, then we have fortified foods such as breakfast cereals, plant-based milk such as almond milk, soy milk. Next category is fish such as salmon, rainbow, trout, and some other foods such as dried tomatoes and butternut squash. As to the supplements, vitamin E supplements are available, but it's important to take them under medical guidance as excess intake can have adverse effects. Let's look at the side effects of too much vitamin E. While vitamin E is obviously essential for health, excessive intake can lead to side effects such as one of the biggest one, of course, increased risk of bleeding. High doses of vitamin E can interfere with blood clotting by inhibiting platelet aggregation, which may increase the risk of bleeding or bruising especially in people who are already taking blood thinning medications, such as warfarin, for example. Number two risk is nausea and gastrointestinal issues. Taking large amounts of vitamin E can cause nausea, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and other gastrointestinal discomforts. Number three, fatigue and weakness. Some individuals may experience fatigue, weakness, headaches, or dizziness as a result of excessive vitamin E intake. Number four, blurred vision. Very high doses of vitamin E have been associated with vision problems, such as blurred vision. Number five, increased risk of stroke. Studies suggest that long-term use of high doses of vitamin E supplements may increase the risk of hemorrhagic stroke, that's a bleeding in the brain, though this is relatively rare. Number six is interactions with medications. Vitamin E can interact with certain medications such as anticoagulants, which are blood thinners, as we mentioned earlier, chemotherapy drugs, and cholesterol-lowering medications, potentially reducing their effectiveness or increasing the risk of side effects. Number seven, potential for vitamin deficiency. Excessive intake of vitamin E can reduce the absorption of other fat-soluble vitamins such as vitamin K, potentially leading to deficiency of vitamin K. Now, let's move to topical vitamin E and its targeted skin effects, skin benefits rather. Topical application of vitamin E involves applying creams, serums, or oils that contain vitamin E directly to the skin. Here are the key features. Localized antioxidant action. When applied topically, vitamin E works directly on the skin surface neutralizing free radicals in a specific area where it's applied. This provides targeted protection against environmental stressors like UV damage and pollution. Next is moisturization. Topical vitamin E is highly effective, effective as a moisturizer, especially for dry and damaged skin. It helps lock in mo moisture, softening the skin and enhancing its barrier function. This makes it ideal for treating dry patches or irritated areas. The next big one is wound healing and scar reduction. 
vitamin E's regenerative properties make it beneficial for healing scars, burns, and other skin injuries. When applied topically, it promotes skin cell regeneration and reduces inflammation which can speed up the healing process and improve skin texture. We use it a lot at the burn unit, especially because of these effects. The next one is anti-inflammatory. It's very effective at calming skin and reducing redness and irritation. It is important to note that not all forms of vitamin E are equally effective when applied topically. Look for formulations containing tocopherol, the most active form of vitamin E for maximum benefit. Now let's go over key differences between oral and topical vitamin E. First, there is a difference in their mechanism of action. Oral vitamin E works systematically, providing broad antioxidant production and skin benefits from within, while topical vitamin E targets specific areas of the skin, offering direct protection, moisturization, and healing. The next difference is absorption. Oral vitamin E is absorbed into the bloodstream, while topical vitamin E acts primarily on the surface layers of the skin. And finally, there is a difference in the use, in the goals of the use. Oral supplementation is often used for long-term skin health and systemic antioxidant effects, while topical application is preferred for targeted skin issues like dryness, irritation, scars, and UV damage. So. That's about it about oral and topical vitamin E. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.